You and I today with an open Bible are not excused at all, but we are only saved by the grace of God. Now, he begins to outline these awful sins that these people did. Verse 5, "...trust not in a friend, put not confidence in a guide, keep the doors of thy mouth from her that lieth in thy bosom." Now, this reveals something of the awful condition that existed in that day. And that's been true, I think, pretty much of the so-called civilizations of this world, that this is a big, mean world outside, and that you and I need to recognize that, especially if we take a stand for God, why, the Lord Jesus made it very clear that the day would come. He said, and I'm going to turn to this passage, the 10th of Matthew Verse 34, think not that I'm come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword. And friends, as long as there's evil in the world, there will be a conflict and there will be a war between that which is of the flesh and that which is of the spirit, between light and darkness, between good and evil. Every morning, I generally get up rather early. I do my studying at home early. And I get up while it is still dark. And my study is where I can look toward the east. And it's interesting to see how the darkness wrestles with the light till finally the sun comes bursting over the horizon and the darkness then vanishes. But there is a period there of dawn, and it is a period where it would seem that the darkness is wrestling with the light. And the same thing takes place in the evening at the dusk, when again darkness wants to take over. Now, there's that kind of a spiritual struggle going on in the world, and the Lord Jesus made that very clear. And he says, "...for I'm come to set a man at variance against his father." and the daughter against her mother, and the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. And a man's foes shall be they of his own household. He won't be able to trust them. And he says here, trust not in a friend. Put not your confidence in a guide. Keep the doors of thy mouth from her that lieth in thy bosom, from the very wife. And there has come to my attention over a period of years, it works both ways, of course, that a wife has not been able to trust her husband, and a husband has not been able to trust his wife. We live in a day when the word of man seems to carry less value than it did before. You can't believe today what you read. You can't believe today what you hear on radio or on television. It all should be tested by the child of God. I say to you, and I say it very candidly, test every program you listen to. Test this one, by the way. Test them all. You'll be wise if you do, because human nature, it's not to be trusted. And human nature will always try to fool mother nature and everything else, too. Now, will you notice he goes on and says this in verse 6, "...for the son dishonoreth the father, the daughter riseth up against her mother, the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law, a man's enemies are the men of his own house." Now, you see, that's exactly what the Lord Jesus said would come. And it had come in this day also. And when that sort of a situation arises, it's a day of decadence, a day of deterioration, a day of decay. And it's a day that's very dark, by the way. We live in a day like that. It's got so today that government is having to watch everything. And who in the world is going to watch government? Because they need watching. So that who can you trust? Who can you believe in today? We're living in a very sad time 
actually in the history of the world. And this reveals that it was that way in the day that Micah was grieving his heart out. Now, this is not something to boast of, something to rejoice in. It is something to deplore, and it's something that should grieve the heart. Now, he goes on in verse 7 here, "...therefore I will look unto the Lord, I will wait for the God of my salvation." My God will hear me. Now, here is the confidence, and here is the assurance and the faith of this man. Now, he knows that God is going to hear him, and he knows that God will work this thing out. Now, it doesn't make any difference how dark it is today and how high the waves are roaring. And we saw that also last time when we called attention to the fact the Lord Jesus said, there'd be distress of nations, sea and waves roar. That's the nations of the world in great turmoil. And that these things ought not to disturb the child of God. They ought not to detour us because of the fact that men's hearts today are failing them for fear. They're looking after those things that are coming on the earth. And actually, the powers of heaven today seem to be shaken. And he told us when all these things just begin to come to pass, and certainly we've seen the beginning, then look up and lift up your heads, for your redemption draweth nigh. And Micah says, Therefore I look unto the Lord. I'll wait for the God of my salvation. My God will hear me. And these are days when God's children need to stay very close to God. We need to stay close to the Word of God. 